Hey everyone, in our video devotions, we are talking about spiritual practices and disciplines and how we can implement them in our daily lives to draw closer to God. Today we're talking about hospitality. I've really changed how I view hospitality in the past year. I used to put all of the emphasis on the gift of hospitality. I've known people who are clearly gifted. They clearly have that gift. My parents, John and Sue Markin, my friends Jeff and Katie Clemens, those have been the people in my life that have been gifted in hospitality where you just felt so welcome in their homes. So I started searching for what the Bible says about the gift of hospitality. And you can find hospitality, that word, a lot in the New Testament. It is, it is a big part of what we're called to be as Christians, but you don't find the phrase, the gift of hospitality. What I found was lots of scripture encouraging all of us to be hospitable, all of us. So what does it look like for us to be hospitable? I think it can be summed up in two sections of scripture that don't actually use the word hospitable or hospitality. But the first is Genesis 1:27, we are created in the image of God. And the second is in Matthew chapter 22 verses 37 through 39, where Jesus said to the uh, Jesus said to him, "You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind." This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So we're created in the image of God. And part of that is a design to create and not just consume. Um, we are created to be creators and to make things happen um, and not just be sitting back and consuming. We are to be inviters. Um, you think of what the gospel is. The gospel is an invitation and invitations create. Invitations are an opportunity to create relationships and to create connections with each other. So I really believe that we're actually designed to be inviters, which is to create opportunities for others. And then when we know that loving our neighbor is second only to loving God, we see that we are called to be hospitable. And hospitality is really a two-way street. Uh, not only do we need to be inviters, but we need to say yes to invitations. And um, I know that we've been in a season of life where maybe there's not as many invitations and not as many opportunities to be invited or to invite. And I think it's time we move out of that. And I think it's time we really lean into hospitality. We have upcoming neighborhood barbecues hosted by Westside Church families, and these are going to be an excellent opportunity for us to live in that hospitable life, for us to um, really do what we've been called to do, and that's to invite and also, I believe, to say yes to invitations. So um, the other part about uh, being hospitable is that Sometimes a barrier to it is we feel like maybe we don't have the right house or the right setting to host people, but you don't have to bring people to your home if that's not, if that doesn't work. Like to be hospitable is to include people, to invite people, to create opportunities for people to connect. So I want to challenge you to do that today. Find a way to connect with someone, find a way to host someone, find a way to see all people as created in the image of God, see their value know that second only to loving God is loving each other and loving our neighbors. And who's our neighbor? If you can see them, they're your neighbor. So uh, love the people around you. Continue to grow your circle of people by being hospitable and inviting people. And uh, just find the joy that God gives us in hospitality. So I hope that is encouraging to you and I hope you have a blessed day.